Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nancy Stamps, and today's video is about wax seals. Now, I did a video in the past regarding wax seals. Um, wax seals are kind of near and dear to my heart. It's just one of those stationary items that every time I pass in the store, I have to stop and look at it. And I don't know, I guess they're just kind of nostalgic because, you know, wax seals date back hundreds and hundreds of years back when um, royalty would write out their letters and they'd have this wax seal. And that was like their way of, of privacy of coding it to make sure that no one, um, no one read the letter before it got to its intended intended recipient. So anyway, this video is sponsored by the company Craftspire. There is going to be a five dollar off of forty dollar order coupon code for you. So stay through, stay, stay tuned till the end, and I'll give you that code and their website. So they were nice enough to send me the two different styles that they have of doing wax seals. So the first one are these little wax pellets. Now, I asked for a variety pack, but you can certainly, if you have a special occasion coming up for weddings or graduation, or you just want to get ready for Christmas and you want a certain color theme, you can get these little wax pellets. Um, and then you would just use a tea light, which they've also provided in this kit. And then this is a little wax holder that will help to heat that up. And then we will demonstrate that in just a second. They also sent me two wax seals. So one is a butterfly. The other one is a dragonfly. These are interchangeable handles. So if you wanted to buy other wax seals, it's very easy to switch them out. Just screw back on there. And they also sent me the glue stick kind. Now, these are very large glue sticks. I'm going to demonstrate these for you guys as well. And we have two markers. So uh, these are all on their website. I will tell you guys, I do believe they are shipped from China. Um, however, the shipping was pretty quick, and I do believe their prices are reasonable. Um, so let's jump into it. So I have already pre-done these. Now these were done with the little pellets, the wax pellets. And this is cool because you can do these ahead of time on your nonstick mat. So let me demonstrate that for you real quick. And when you do them on your nonstick mat, you can this just glue them down later. So this is my little Tim Holtz nonstick mat. And I would light my little tea light here. Okay. And then all you do is you take two or three of the pellets. You can mix and match your colors. You can do the same colors. Uh, I'm going to do some dark blue and then I'm going to add a little swirl of white to that. And you'll see that this goes fairly quickly. Now I was cheating, I will admit, and I was using the propane torch on it. Um, it burns very quickly. <laughs> when you do that. So this does take a few seconds. You can see it's already moving around and heating. You want to make sure you're not doing this around children or pets because again, we are dealing with fire. It does get very warm. Um, you want to make sure that all of your supplies are ready to go. If you're going to do this directly on envelopes, which I'm going to show you guys as well, make sure everything is sealed and ready to go. And again, you can get solid colors if you want, or you can mix your color so you guys can see that that is very quickly melting with tea light now you may get some soot on the bad bottom of your spoon here um, it doesn't affect anything it just turns the bottom of the spoon black you can very easily just clean that wipe it with a cloth once you're done all right so I want to make sure that this is all fully melted before I pour it so it does take a few seconds here um, I will say that these melt a lot quicker than some traditional waxes that I've purchased in the past. Um, <clears throat> some of the big box stores do sell wax sticks, and um, you basically burn the end of the wax stick and wait for it to drip down. Um, having it in this little kind of container is a little bit, uh, I think, a little easier to control. And of course, depending on how much wax you have in there will determine how long it takes to melt. This is almost ready. If you see some of that smoke, that's again just from the soot. You can lift your 
spoon a little higher if you don't want that. I kind of have it directly on the flame so I can melt a little faster here. And we are almost done. And you'll know it's done because you won't see any more of the, the wax chunks. It'll look very smooth for you. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want it to burn. And then all you're going to do once that's done is you can stir with like a little ch um, toothpick. But I'm just going to pour down. And I just kind of go in a little bit of a circular motion. And that gives us a kind of a marbled effect. And you want to be fairly quick about this. Now I had only used three. And then you're going to take your wax seal and you're going to press it down straight down and let it sit. Okay, and you can see the soot is on the bottom of my spoon there. No big deal. I'm going to move this tea light out of the way here. We're going to move on to something else. So by pre-making them, these are very flexible. So it's not like your traditional wax where it snaps. Um, so you can then just put a glue dot on the back of these and stick them on the back of your envelope, which is pretty cool. Give this just a moment to set, and then, again, you don't want to touch it. It is obviously melted wax. Once it's set, you can just snap this right off, and you will have your seal. Now, I'm going to give that just another second to set. And they've also sent me these two metallic markers. So we have a silver and a gold. They're water-based markers. They do not smell. And once that is set... I can then take the marker, this is totally optional, but it really makes it pop, and color on top of my seal, and now I have a raised colored image, and this will pop right off from my non-stick mat there, and you can see we have a really pretty butterfly. It's marbled with the blue and the pearl in there, and again, flexible enough that I can add a little glue dot to the back and stick it on my card. Okay. Now the other ones that they sent to me were the were the sticks. Now I will tell you, the stick does not fit ideally in my glue gun. It's a little too um, very. It it goes in the larger glue gun, but it's a little too small for my glue gun handle to grasp it. So what I did was I took a regular glue stick and put a little piece of glue at the end of it and use that now to press. So this is one of the, again, they have multicolors or single colors or very long sticks. And we're going to do the same thing. We, we're going to actually, I'm going to press down. I'm going to use my hand to push the glue stick to push that color out because again, my handle is not grabbing on here. Now it was just oozing out and I turned my temperature down and that may have been a mistake. Oh, there we go. And so the same concept, the difference is you want to make sure this fits in your glue gun. I'll have to check my other glue guns to see if it will work. And I have this on low temperature. But now that I have my glue stick in here, it's grasping it with the, with the through the glue stick and the handle. And this one is the dragonfly. So again, I'm going to press down in the middle. And again, you want to work fairly quickly because it dries really fast. When I had it on high, it was kind of dripping out everywhere. I kind of was hoping that the uh, glue stick method was going to work a little easier for me, but that is going to depend on your glue gun. So for me, because I don't have this fitting very well on my glue gun, I think I'm going to stick with the pellets. Now that one came out much better. And so I have to setting and you want to give it a second to dry I think a lot of mistakes that we make or we get so excited just like with foiling we peel it off really quick and then we get these stringies and we um we lose our effect now when you have these little extra pieces here you can save those and remelt them and use them over again so we're going to pull that one off so there is the dragonfly 
No, nope, that one's not dry yet. See that? How it how I kind of uh took a piece out there. Alright, so let's try that again here. This is an actual uh birthday card that I'm mailing out to a friend of mine. And so I'm actually gonna turn my glue up to high. So my temperature has high and low. I'm gonna turn that up to high and see if we get a little bit better result there. So, and I just have it setting off camera on a little mat here so that the glue pulls up on that. But in the meantime, these are now dry and can go in with my marker and color those. So they have offered us a discount code. The code is going to give you $5 off an order of 40. The code is NANCY5, so N-A-N-C-Y, the number five. And the website is craspire.com, and that's C-R-A-S-P-I-R-E.com. And again, it's you can save $5 on orders, $40 are up. And you can see once that's done, you can color it. They have many different designs of uh, wax seals. They have many different colors of the wax pellets or the glue gun uh, type of wax seal. And they are all um, pretty flexible. So again, you can make these ahead of time or you can make them directly on your envelope. So I think that is all heating up now. I see it dripping. Let's see if we can try this again. I hope my friend does not watch this video and see me do this. <laughs> all right. Okay, so definitely better that time. I want the dragonfly for this one. I'm gonna let that one set. And for this one, I'm just gonna add some craft glue. Glue dot, whatever you have. And now these can go through the mail and I don't have to worry about them cracking off. Now, if you're concerned that they would crack off, I would maybe put this in another envelope and send it that way or hand deliver it. There we go. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have any wax seals? Have you tried them before? What has been your experience? Comment down below. Again, the code is NANCY5 for $5 off of 40. Go check it out. This kit without um, the glue stick. So it was the pellets, the two wax seals, which were butterfly and dragonfly bundle. I will link them down below for you. It also came with the tea lights, the spoon and the markers. I think the retail value is $34.99. So you can definitely get this kit, add another bundle of some of the, um, the wax beads and you're ready to go. But go check them out. It's craftspire.com. Use code NANCY5 and get $5 off of your order of 40. And I'd like to know what you think about wax seals down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.